all right yo what's good guys welcome back to a brand new video today or welcome to the video if this is your first video of mine that you are watching uh today i'm going to be playing fortnite chapter 3 season 3 on the ace of nurture 5 in a little bit since i've done one of these videos uh, i think i'm finally ready to return without further ado let's get into it starting off you can see here that i am running the newest drivers that were released two days ago via nvidia we have a 1650 got an i5 9300h at 2.4 gigahertz we have 16 gigs of ram my nitro 5 came with 8 but 8 was not enough in 2020 when i bought it let no i actually got it in 2019 it was not enough in 2019 when i bought it i i bought it in the later like late late 2019 like after christmas but before 2020 it was not enough in 2019 and it is not enough in 2022 so if i can and if you guys can i really would recommend upgrading to 16 gigabytes of ram or just buying one that comes standard with 16 gigs of ram because the performance benefit you will see is insane it literally like increased my fps by 50 percent if not more when i switched and i'm using an external monitor 1080p 165 hertz because obviously i'm recording on my laptop that takes fps away from my gameplay by about five to seven percent and the external monitor using optimus will actually boost my fps by about five to seven percent because i'm not going to be using my gpu zero since i'm not uh since i'm using my gpu one to render the game and uh i had my laptop screen off whereas if it was on i would be using my gpu zero using a little bit more ram than i would have to so it's going to boost my fps ever so slightly but with the recording um deficit the benefit of the external monitor is going to be pretty much negligible to original performance so without further ado i'll stop talking and uh let's get right into the gameplay shall we all right ladies and gentlemen we are in game we are on performance mode yeah i'm ready to rock and roll we're going to be using all epic settings for the case of it because it puts a little bit more strain on your gpu causing it to work a little bit harder than it would normally using that if your gpu is kind of just relaxed you'd actually get less fps with the lower settings but these settings are so like light on the gpu it only increases gpu percent marginally but it's marginal enough to make the gpu work hard enough to render out more frames for you yeah we're gonna be on low and high meshes i'll play around with it to see uh, I might just switch in the middle of a game and see if there's an FPS difference. I'm not overclocked. I don't even have Afterburner installed, but uh, yeah, let's hop right into a game. As you can see, Afterburner is not even running down here. I might get it though, so that you guys can see the performance overlay. All right, I did install MSI Afterburner and um, I'm running no overclock as you guys can see. All I got it for was to get this overlay up in the top left for you guys. So, yep. I do believe I'm going to play Team Rumble because at the end of Team Rumble games, it is the most demanding gameplay, and I believe it would simulate an endgame in Arena pretty well, so I am going to end up playing Team Rumble. Yeah, if you guys don't like Team Rumble and if you want like a squads game or a solo game or something, let me know. I can go ahead and do that for you. So right now, I'm just going to do Team Rumble because I like the simulation it gives. All right, here we go. We're getting a few FPS up, about 100, 120 maybe with some dips. That's okay. That's that's really good actually for uh I believe it's going to be 4-year-old hardware this year and lower end 4-year-old hardware when it came out. So I also haven't played this game in a really long time, like almost 3 months, so So as you can see, I'm dusting the rust off of the off of the joints right now. Oh, okay. Mind it all fall up there. Yep. Another sniper. I don't even have the battle pass yet. I need to buy it. Uh, all right, another combat SMG. I don't like the combat. I like the stinger more. Do they add that new SMG yet? I don't know. I've been getting back into the into the videos, watching the videos. You know. Now I gotta get back into creating the videos. I haven't seen the MK7 in a while. I wonder if they vaulted it. Whoa! Look at that with low meshes. That looks like a turret, bro. <laughs> All right, if you're, yeah, if you're not, I can't tell if that's because of low meshes or because of no high res textures. All right, boys, if you're not playing competitive, do not use low meshes because it'll, or in no high res textures, because that's what a picnic table looks like, bro. What the heck? Look at what the grill looks like. It looks like it's straight out of Minecraft. Oh my God. Okay, well. It is what it is, I guess. Look at the bench. The bench actually looks pretty good. I think that's because there's no high-res textures. I think the low meshes is why it's so, like, thin, though, you know? 
So yeah, if you're not like trying to be a pro player and play in tournaments or play arena, and you're just trying to have fun with a decent good experience, um, do not use low meshes. I'm going to make a DX11 and DX12 test where I test all five setting levels for you guys so you can see how uh, low, medium, uh, high, epic, and competitive settings all play out. So stay tuned for those videos. They should be releasing in the next few days. I'm recording all of these videos today, by the way. So if I'm wearing the same clothes, don't don't DOS me for it because it's, it's all recorded in the same day. There's a few minor stutters here and there, but nothing to be like concerned about. Like I remember when I played on my main back in as on the Nitro 5 as my main back in like chapter two, season five. Okay, that's tempting that I remember it being just a stuttery mess. But also, I think that was because the season's optimization really went out the window. Because Fortnite was at its all-time low for optimization, I remember. Like, pro players were struggling, everyone was sh struggling. But, um, to see 160, 170 FPS with... I don't know how many people are in the game. Um, how many people are on my team? 13. Let's just say there's 26 people in the game, just for the sake of it. And, um... It's pretty good for that amount of people. Alright, buddy. Yeah, I got a teammate. Ow, bro. You know what? I'm just gonna... That was the first time I've done that in a while, and it felt so good. Almost 200 FPS. Okay, Fortnite's like really done something, because for 26 people in this size of a circle, I assume it's still about 26, yep. We're just assuming that there's 13 people. Um, it could be 10, could be 5, could be 12, could be 30. I don't really know. But um, I'm just going to, for the sake of the video, assume that it's 26. For that many people in this small of a circle, I'm really impressed with how it's performing. Like, almost 200 FPS in places. Obviously, now we're in a more demanding area. But we're still getting 140 to 150 and at least 120 plus. I can... If, if you're, like, just worried about getting a smooth 144 hertz experience, dropping to 120 frames, you're not going to be able to see that. You might feel it a little bit with stutters and frame time, but you're not- it's not going to be horrible. It's not going to be like, oh my god, this is unplayable, you know? Whereas before, in, like, Chapter 2, Season 5, when it did that, it was like, oh my god, it was unplayable, because it would drop from, like, 120, 144 plus, for example, it would drop to, like, 60 70 and it's like oh wow this is this is pretty bad and yeah it was pretty bad and um but yeah now fortnite's either really got their game on or i'm just have i'm just really impressed and surprised with how well this is performing all right all right that was not necessary i'm sorry but yeah, if you guys want a performance mode with high-res textures on, oh my god, dude. I'm just trying to talk, bro. You really have to do me like that? Yeah, suck it. Suck it, dude. Suck it, bro. Alright, whatever. Anyway. If you guys want one with high-res textures on, um, I can go ahead and do that for you guys. But for the sake of the videos, I'm not using high-res textures just because they're not insanely essential. They make like a 10 FPS difference either way, so... Oh. Bro, ski. Come on, come here, boy. Dude, okay, I'm so bad at this game. Like it like I said, it's been a while. Forgive me for my horrible, horrible gameplay. I'm still managing to get kills though. I don't think I've died once yet. Dead. All right, Tango down. I'm actually doing all right. I'm not. Don't. Ah. Nope. Yo, Broski, calm down, dude. Dude, there's people everywhere. Oh, this dude's salty. He came back for me. Where'd you go, boy? Nope. I don't think so. Okay. Well. Yep. 
Oh, and it's all on fire. That's not good. I remember the fire from my <laughs> last chapter. Nope, that's not good. Get out of the fire. Get me in. Into the box. Ah! Get one pump to the head, kid. Alright. Ooh. That's a teammate. That scared the absolute frog turds out of me, bro. Ooh. What am I doing? That was... Okay. I'm not noticing, like, stutters. Like, I'm, I'm just playing the game as I normally play it. And it's, it's actually really nice. I'm not noticing the stutters. It feels smooth. And... I'm very genuinely impressed. Like, I was expecting, oh yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna be how you'd expect on four-year-old hardware. It's gonna be a little bit laggy. It's gonna be not very fun. But I mean, for a starting PC, it'd be good. But I'm actually impressed. If I really had to... I think I would be able to switch back to the Nitro 5 as my main. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to create videos with the quality I do. I'd have to lower the quality a little bit to get good performance. But, like, I'd be able to play with the same quality that I play at with a smooth experience. I'm genuinely impressed. Like, Fortnite has really done some worked some wonders in order to make sure that their game runs good on older hardware. And not necessarily super old hardware, but... Slightly older hardware, because obviously hardware that's four years old is not brand new and a little bit old by now, but it's okay. I'm very impressed with it. And um I think that if you guys that if you guys are just looking for something to get you into gaming, looking for something to game on the go, or like looking to get into gaming, looking for something to help you game on the go. Or even if you're like upgrading from a GTX 7 whatever or 960 or whatever i think that this is genuinely a good a good um choice for you to um get into it you know either get into it or upgrade a older system if you're just looking for something to get oh i got the winning kill to get pretty smooth gameplay like it's not a, a complete 144 hertz experience obviously but it's not a horrible experience I only noticed some stutters early on when I was actually looking for them. Once I actually got into the gameplay, I didn't notice hardly any stuttering at all. So we're going to hop into another game with high meshes on. I'm not even overclocked. Uh, and this is a fresh Windows and so I'm not optimized. If you overclock and optimize, a uh, video in the description and the end screen and in the top right, if you overclock and optimize your machine, you will get so much more performance. and. I'm not even overclocked and optimized. I'm just sitting here chilling at bone stock. So obviously, if you want higher settings, you're going to have to get um, a higher end. I hate looting this place. A higher end um, computer. But if you're okay with low settings or competitive settings in performance mode, I think it's genuinely a good buy. Even here in 2022, being almost three, four years old in terms of the hardware and the laptop itself. It will be a great experience for whoever you're buying something to get your kid into gaming or whatever. I think... Especially if it's like a young kid, like my sister's 10, she wouldn't care if there's a stutter here and there because she's playing on her iPad still, you know? She's getting like 10 FPS on her iPad and Roblox. It's like if you're buying something for a kid, you can find one of these used, like, with 8 gigs of RAM, it'd be a whole different story. With 8 gigs of RAM, you'd be crying to like die right now. But like I said earlier in the video, 8 gigs of RAM just does not work anymore in 2022. And, um,. That's just the unfortunate reality. 8 gigs is just not enough. But unless you're just playing like indie games or whatever on a Dell Opti, it has left me like speechless almost because of how good the performance is for this for this machine. That's my kill. No boy, mine. <laughs> is that an enemy? Where's this dude at? I see his footsteps. Oh, there he is. Woo! Okay. This is what I would consider to be heavier than average gameplay. We're dropping to sub 100 FPS, but it still feels smooth. I cannot feel anything. Any, like, stutters or anything. I haven't felt a single one yet. I'm just playing the game as I'd play it, you know? And, like, I have not been... I feel like I'm not being held back by my hardware at this point. I'm very impressed with it. And, um... Like I said, I think anyone else who buys one will also be impressed with it. 
especially if you're buying it for like a kid who doesn't even know what an FPS is. But we're dropping, we're now we're up into the 150s, 200s, but when we were gliding in, it was in like the 70s, and I still didn't even notice um, a stutter. It still felt wonderful. Dude, what are you doing, dog? What are you doing, dog? He has the two-shot shotgun or whatever it's called. Ah, uh -huh. oh, never mind. <laughs> a kill for a kill, I guess. But yeah, I'm I'm genuinely happy. Like I'm having fun. Like I remember I was kind of upset last time when I was playing on my Nitro Five because of the performance it was getting. But I'm like genuinely having fun playing on the Nitro Five right now, and it's something that. Like, I was upset. I, I don't know if I was upset with the Nitro 5 or with Fortnite or both, but now I am just. Oh. Now I'm just. I'm lost for words at this point. Just because of how well it's performing. And I don't know. Go ahead and judge for yourself whether or not you're going to buy it, but personally, I think that for being this old, you can probably find it for some pretty cheap prices, especially on the used market. And, um, I think it's performing great. Maybe, maybe you don't, maybe you're looking for something better yet, but I think that the spec Nitro 5 is performing great for what it is. Like, dropping in, we're still getting 70, 80 FPS, that's when we see everything, and now getting into the fight, killing this kid getting 120 plus and what i would consider to be heavier heavier use slash gameplay where there's a bunch of people and a bunch of stuff going on with gunshots and whatever i hit him for 88 uh dude can you just die you're finally oh my god that was annoying there's like a kid down here jumped on his head okay there's another kid where are you at there you are. Oop, oop, oop. Oh. There was like four people. Any he emoted, whatever. Even though there's people coming at me from every direction, I still don't even notice like stutters and stuff. Like obviously when I'm dropping in, yeah. But like, I'm not this blown, dude. How well it's performing. I expect, I half expected it to be like a 70 FPS experience the whole time. Like it was back in chapter two, season five. But no, it was, I'd say 90% of the time, we were above 100 FPS. And I'd say probably 75% of the time, we were above 120. 100 to 120, you'll start to feel a little bit of stutter, maybe if you're looking for it and you're playing on 144 hertz. 120 to 144, you won't feel anything. Anything below 100, you'll start to feel it a little bit more. Like down by the 70 and 60 range, you'll be like, yeah, this is pretty bad. But I don't think we were ever down to 70s and 60s. Except for when we were, like, looking over everything, dropping back into the map. And then I think once we actually got into what I'd consider to be normal gameplay again, like, in arena or squads, if there's a bunch of people there, I think that you'd probably be over 100 FPS the whole time. In all cases, it is a great machine, because then again, you can also go into MSI Afterburner and overclock, right? Like, maybe 150... 750 that's a good overclock and that'll probably give me 20 more fps 20 30 more fps yeah i'm not gonna do that for you guys if you want a video on how much an overclock does increase your performance go ahead and leave a comment down below leave a like if you made it this far comment cheese fingers and uh, i'll give your comment a heart and um you can overclock you can go you can go uh run percent temp percent clear your temp files blah 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 just delete all of these and then you can go percent local app data. Oh, oops, you have to go Windows R to open run. And then percent local app data. Percent, you can do a bunch of stuff in here with the Fortnite uh, path and whatever and make the settings, uh, change some settings manually with your keyboard doing numbers and coding. But yeah, I'm not, I didn't do any of that for this video. If you want, if you guys want a video on that, go ahead and leave a comment below and uh, I'll be sure to do that for you guys. But I'm just so excited that the Nitro 5 is performing this well at this point in its lifetime. And um, 
I'm not even on like any crazy steroid uh, fan curve either. I think I'm on higher ultimate performance inside of the NitroSense software. Yeah, I'm on ultimate performance. My fans aren't even going super crazy. Don't even have cool boost on. If I turn cool boost on, I'll probably get more performance. But if I go max, I'll probably get more performance. But it wasn't even that loud. I'm I, I'm playing with one ear cup off. I'm playing with one ear cup off. And I was so focused on the game, I couldn't even hear it. And it's right next to me. It's it's two and a half feet from me. It's quiet. It's quieter than my PC. <laughs> Actually, no, they're about the same audibility as of right now. But I'm just so impressed. The temps look high. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a laptop. The temps are going to be high. Let's be real here. But I'm just so impressed with how it's performing. And I think anyone who buys it, even in 2022, for Fortnite will be too. And um, that's all I can say. Uh, Nectar 5, as of right now, in the season of Fortnite, who knows, maybe next season's optimization will be garbage and it'll get 20 FPS all the time. But as of right now, I do believe the Nectar 5 is a great buy and anyone who does so will be happy with their purchase. And um, yeah, so without further ado, that's my summing it up. And uh, I'm going to get out of your guys' hair because I got a lot of editing to do. And uh, see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.